Hello friends, welcome to Creative Zone. In this part, I'm going to tell you about conductor, insulator, semiconductor. If you missed my last video, I mean part one, then you should watch that first before watching this one. Link in description box. Whatever. Starting today's one. Okay. I'm taking a conductor, an insulator, and a semiconductor. Taking the energy band actually. In last video, I said this forbidden energy gap means how much energy is needed to jump electron from valence band to conduction band as free electron. Okay, now focus this gap distance. In conductor, this gap distance is very low. Sometimes this band overlap each other. Now look at the insulator and the gap, obviously. Oh, that's huge whatever focus the last one here yeah, gap is not like conductor or not like insulator it's middle position actually <laughs> that means if you give a few more energy from outside then a semiconductor will work like a conductor anyway let's explain to clear this topic conductor very simple this gap distance is too low so need a little value of energy to get free electron the resistivity of conductor is too tiny which is around 1 in 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter which is equivalent to zero that's why conductor can pass electron one place to another place easily and mind it copper is the best conductor for the electricity now insulator is totally opposite from conductor balance electron of insulator needs 6 ev to 15 ev external energy to get free electron and insulator specific resistance is 1 into 10 to the power 12 ohm meter which is 100000 blah 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 anyway that's why insulator cannot flow electricity in room temperature if you give uh, external energy like heat um, then you will be able to flow a few electrons but not like conductor oops wait i missed a term what is ev actually ev stands for electron volt and it's a tiny unit of measuring energy we know joule is the unit of energy if we convert EV to Joule, then we will get a tiny value, which is 1.6602, sorry, 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19. That means 1 EV equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 Joule. Whatever. Now, semiconductor. Resistivity of semiconductor is 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 ohm meter. But you cannot identify semiconductor by resistivity. There are more conditions to be semiconductor. Number one, conductivity of semiconductor will increase by mixing specific impurities. It called doping. Number two, heat can increase conductivity. And last one is number three, balanced electron must need one EV or few less energy to jump conduction band as free electron, but not more than one EV. That's all. See you on next part of this topic. Stay with Creative Zone. Have a nice day.